Hello, everyone. I am Kitty of Calent. Now I will introduce Calent's latest product C60 Mono. Next, I will give you a detailed description of the parameters, advantages, and operation methods of C60 Mono. The printing volume of C60 Mono is 130 mm asterisk, 80 mm asterisk, 160 mm. The printing size is 200 mm asterisk, 200 mm asterisk, 420 mm. And the weight is 4.5 kg. The printer is all made of aluminum alloy. The printer use is 6.08 inches 2 Kimono LCD screen. Resolution 2560 multiplied by 1600. 20W light source. Curing time is 2 to 3 seconds. The key point is that the LCD screen has a tempered film protection to protect the LCD screen's service life. The printer adopts high precision linear guide rails which has the advantages of high repeat positioning accuracy and strong anti-vibration ability. The printer also used is not to eliminate gaps, which greatly reduces the generation of staggered layers and horizontal lines. The use of silent motors makes the printing process extremely quiet. The printer uses a 3.5-inch touchscreen. We can use this touchscreen to operate the Z-axis to move up and down, Test the screen exposure and print the model, which is very convenient. This is the USB interface. It is on the front of the printer for the user to use. This is the power input interface of the printer. This is the power switch. Okay, I now tell you how to use C60 Mono. First, we level the printer. Loosen the screws on both sides of the platform and check whether the platform can swing up and down. Next, we press the origin button of the touch screen to bring the platform back to the lowest point and adjust the platform. Then tighten the screws of the platform and check whether the platform can be shaken. If it cannot be shaken, the platform is leveled. If the printed model does not stick to the platform during the printing, please repeat this step. Open the slicing software. Import the C60 mono parameter settings. Import the model, add support, and slice. Save the slice file in the CTB format. Then save it to the U-Disk. Pour the resin into the resin vat. Half of it is enough, and be careful not to fill it up. Insert the U-Disk into the printer. Select the file to be printed, and click to start printing. Then wait for the model to be print completed. After the printing is completed, we can use the knife to remove the mod all from the printing platform, and then use alcohol to clean it. After cleaning, we can put it in the sun or use a curing machine to cure the mode. 